Well, for more details on the latest developments in South Africa, let's cross over to Johannesburg. Dr. Pet Krokkamp is joining us live from there. Thanks for being with us. And first, let's take a look into the publication of Nelson Mandela's will today. Was it what, what many in South Africa expected? Um, I, I, I can't hear you clearly, but I assume you're asking about the will of Nelson Mandela today? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you were asking whether it was expected the way it panned out eventually? Is That's that right? right. That's well, right. Well, I, th I think it, uh, uh, just, 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 yeah, just before the, uh, in, uh, yesterday's papers, I think people speculated whether, it was, whether there was anything in the will at all or whether he was an extremely wealthy man. I think uh, 46 million rand in South African terms it's not a lot of money. It's, uh, he's not a very, very wealthy human being, but you must remember that uh, he accumulated uh, most of his uh, wealth uh, in the last, uh, since 1990. And the other thing is he has already distributed large sums of amount, uh, large sums of money to his children. I think each of them got three million before the will uh, was actually published today. So I think uh, uh, it's not a lot of money and he has distributed uh, in, in humanitarian ways to a number of schools, universities, etc who's been, who's assisted him over the years and who's been involved in his life in various ways. So I think it was more or less expected the way he will do that in, in this humanitarian way. I don't think we knew exactly what the scope was of it all. All right, so let's, let's get into politics now and talk about the Democratic Alliance and the Ahang S.A. Marja. So what explains the split now of these two? Well, I think, uh, it, I think right from the beginning it was always clear that, that the people who will vote for Ahang never really found a home in the democratic alliance, which is assumed to be a party that originated in white interest, but that they, to some degree, uh, also uh, are alienated from the African National Congress, which they assumed or which they argued to have been uh, corrupt, uh, bad management, uh, perhaps not effective government in general for all, for the, especially for the poor people of South Africa. So I think somewhere in the middle, ideology, ideologically, they, f they fitted in, and it was never a good idea to try to merge are hung with any of these two bigger parties. They won't fit, won't fit in with the ANC and they certainly won't fit in with the DA either. And I think it was a rather opportunistic way of ex elaborating on the personal relationship that existed between Rampele and the DA's uh, Helen Zell. It couldn't have worked, it shouldn't have been uh, done before the election. Usually in South Africa, if you want to merge political parties, you have to do it after the election in the form of a political coalition. Uh, these type of agreements never work before an election. But their merger was seen as the strongest challenger to, to ANC before it collapsed. So does this mean then that ANC is safe when it comes to the next elections? Um, I can't hear you clearly, but I assume you ask about the ANC and before the election? Yeah, that's right. I'm just wondering if this now gives ANC the green light to like have a smooth sailing to the elections. Oh. No, it doesn't give the ANC any green light. I think there's still another three months before the election, so a lot of things can change. Uh, I think around about April, May, we can, uh, we can have an election in South Africa as late as May. But I don't think this tells us much about, much about the way and where the ANC is going. I think the ANC, the, there's a very different dynamics at play in terms of the future of the ANC. That has got a lot to do, I think, with the report of the, of the uh, uh, public protector that will come out soon. I think it has got a lot to do with the position of the president, President Jacob Zuma, and whether he uh, has been able to survive within his own political party. It might have something to do with strong constituencies that show some, a degree of alienation from the party, such as those in the labor unions. I think that's more where you have to look for the, the future of the ANC and the dynamics within the ANC and perhaps uh, what will eventually happen during the election if you really want to know uh, what's happening in South African politics. Uh, because there's such uh, limited support for smaller political parties, I think Ahang and UDM and all those political parties won't play much of a role in the future or how, in the behavior of the ANC. The uh, DA, which is the second biggest party here, coming around 20 to 22 percent of support, they might to some extent determine what will be happening within the ANC and how they will uh, manage the, the election up until uh, April later in this year. But uh, this in South Africa is really about two horses in the race, it's the DA and the ANC, and the ANC is such an overwhelmingly big party, around about 65 percent of the voted, people voted for them in the past election. It might be that they uh, decide that their internal dynamics more sh will more shape the way that they uh, manage their election as opposed to opposition parties. All right, Dr. Pete Crockham, thanks very much for this insight and thank you for joining us there from Johannesburg.